vibing. These people at a fucking concert. These people at a cafe. Now, if you didn't stop what you were thinking at that moment for 30 seconds, and you didn't process this could happen now. Now that this happened, this could happen anywhere, Fitzsimmons. This could happen anywhere, Fitzsimmons. People are pissed. Americans are scared. Americans are broke. I don't blame a lot of Americans for their behavior right now. It's mm. a different country when you and I were growing up. Bro. No, I do. There's a way this country behaves. We have a weird president, and right now people are on edge. Yeah. I can't fucking take my kid to fucking the mall now because... Mm. Christmas shopping because these motherfuckers are going to do this. No, you can't take them to school. I have That's to more dangerous at the school than the mall. Half the country is closed. It's, we're living in a country where half the country is voting on these, on these uh, 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 refugees and the other mm. half of the country is like, fucking fuck them. Mm. We don't want them. You know, we have to put them through a strict fucking process because mm. there might be cells. They already, listen, they already caught four of them in Honduras last week. That means there's 18 of them already in California. Mm. <laughs> okay, you have to assume. You have to assume. Lee, if well, you're an American and you're educated. Yeah, you have to assume they're here, but not just from the refugees. You, unless they're you here believe. Regardless. Well, how do you think they got here? Do you think that they, they, they got here on a red carpet premiere? Yeah. No. They came up through Honduras. They dragged like Mexicans. <laughs> they say whatever the fuck Mexicans did. They got up. You know, those coyotes. They'll fucking eat a scab off an Iranian's fucking fingernail. They don't give a fuck, Lee. So eight Mexicans show up. Listen, I come up to you. I go, you want to go to the United States? See, si, see. Si. Tell them I'm your friend, Primo. Before this guy got sent over, he took fucking two weeks of fucking Spanish. What's her name? Rosa Perez, the fucking things you learn online. Yeah. From Rosetta Arabic. Stone? Rosetta Stone. Rosie Perez. All right, whatever her fucking name is. She Rosetta fucking stoned him. You, well, let's be educated Americans here. Okay, and okay, you're saying joy, but you're paranoia. Let's say, okay, look what they did in Paris. Look what they're doing everywhere else. Okay. They shot down a plane yesterday. So you're telling me these people are trying, they're like Colombians now. You watch, you watch Netflix? Sure, I saw watch, that. Okay. They had different pads going. They just don't have this way to go to the United States. They just didn't have Panama. They were shipping through Mexico and it was coming in through Miami and it was coming in through New York City and it was coming in through there and it was coming in through here. And they sent in and they accepted out of seven shipments, they knew two of them were going to get grabbed. It's the same mentality when I'm sending over those fucking people through the border. Meanwhile, you're thinking that they're sending them in through this refugee thing. And we're watching these refugees. They caught four of them in Honduras with fake passports. Right, so that's my point. Like, so do you think they're yeah. the first ones that went to Honduras? That no. means we've already got 18 of them here. Oh, we okay. probably have thousands so, of them. So now, what do you think we, how do you think that this works? I go to a Mexican family that hasn't eaten in fucking two weeks. Two weeks. Okay? They're just poor fucking Mexican people. They don't know no better. They're like the farmers in Colombia who pick the fucking leaves for 10 cents a day. Meanwhile, the, the final result is $3 billion a fucking year. These people are poor little fucking spicks. I come up to you with some Arabian accent. I give you fucking more money than you've ever seen to teach me Spanish, and I'm going to take your family to the United States. Give me some of your T-shirts, give me a fucking poncho, and let's get this motherfucker through. And they shave their beard. You tell me half these Arabs don't look like... Listen, on the way home today, go to, go to the fucking... Laurel Canyon and Chandler, fucking 7-Eleven. Look me in the face when you walk out and tell me that's not ISIS in there. <laughs> what are you saying, the guy that works there? The whole store. The whole store. The entire operation. Is the entire ISIS. operation. Wow. And I wish this was a joke. I, know I this wish, is a I wish that you didn't, you can't let the fear get to you like the this. The other day. It's, it's blinding The you. other day, I walked in there after the attacks and they had the Arab music blasting. They had the turbans on. They were looking at Americans giggling when they walked in. I was watching them. I was, yeah, I was looking worse. for the hubba bubba. <laughs> you think I'm trying to be funny here? I'm not being yeah. fucking funny. So you have to alert. Listen, guys, they're going to do something. They're going to do fucking something, and they want to do it within the next two weeks to make a fucking statement. They got this poor Russian all fired up, this Putin guy. He's no fucking genius. Honestly, I you know. And I'm not prepared. Listen, listen, guys, I'm prepared. I was prepared to die when I was 17 years old. I never, I don't give a fuck. I don't vote. I got felonies. I don't, I don't give a fuck about all this shit. You want me to lie to you? But I'm telling you, you have to be 
a little bit cautious. You have to keep your eyes open. And you got to have something. You got to have a BB gun. You got to have a knife on you. You better have something. Something. Uh, Irish, I love you to death. That's in your fucking blood. You Look, know? I think... I think if you want to stop this shit, it's, uh, uh, you know, you're, you feed into it. When you, when, you can, when you objectify a race of people or a culture of people because of some events that happened in Paris, you're going to cause animosity that could actually lead to people. It's a, it's a recruiting tool. We feed into it, and we create uh, more, more people that are maybe living on the edge of the Muslim society, and uh, you make them hate us, we're doing the recruiting for them. You know, they're innocent people.